My name is uh, Corporal Robert Bartlett. I'm currently serving in the U.S. Army, United States military. Uh, I'm here today to tell you about, uh, tell you my story so you can understand some of the people that you are serving over at the VA and uh, so we're no longer just a face with a name. You know, we'll put a little face and a little story behind people you serve every day. In the military, I was a Calvary Scout sniper. I, my mission was to protect the uh, Iraqi civilians and uh, do route reconnaissance and eliminate enemy combatants. And during that time in Iraq, uh, we did multiple patrols day and day night, day and night, and. Uh, and this is my story. 2003, I joined the U.S. military at the age of 30. I had a handyman remodel business and uh, it went under after September 11th. So I joined up and I picked Calvary Scout Sniper. Uh, I did my basic training at Fort Knox, Kentucky and then left with 3rd Infantry Division in 2005 for Iraq. We did our patrols and we were stationed in Baghdad. And one day uh, a roadside bomb would change all that. You never understand what it's like until you feel or see time stop. When that bomb went off, time stopped. I could count the rocks and the shrapnel coming across the front of my truck. The blast that I felt was like a sledgehammer hitting me in the face. The curtain came over my eye like a curtain closing on a show and I couldn't see out of my left eye anymore. When time stopped so did sound as all I could hear was the loud ring in my ear and a faint voice screaming in the background. Later on I'd learn it was my own. I looked to my right and looked at my truck commander and he was he was killed instantly. His body was riddled with shrapnel and ball bearings. My gunner would end up trying to stand up to find out that his legs would collapse underneath him because they were riddled with shrapnel and burned to a crisp. He ended up falling on top of me. All we could smell was diesel fuel burning and burnt hair and flesh. We held each other because we thought the day's end was coming and death was coming over us. That day we were very lucky. A friend of mine woke up in the middle of it. He was sitting in the back seat. He was blown out of the vehicle and he ended up driving us out of the kill zone and saved our lives. If he didn't do that, I wouldn't be here today. I ended up dying five minutes later. People ask me if I would do it all over again. I say in a frickin' heartbeat. My guys are there right now, and the hardest thing is for me is that I'm not with them to bring them home safe. At the VA, you guys are able to work with incredible people who have stories just like mine. A lot of them are prior service. A lot of them have gotten the 
VA to the point it is now. The young people that are coming in bring fresh new ideas and are able to think outside the box. But a lot of you haven't served. You may be sitting next to somebody who has a story like mine or many others. Hopefully you can understand that and realize that now that you're working at the VA, you're part of something bigger. You're part of a family that is woven tighter than any other thing possible that no bomb could ever separate. When you think about my story, I want you to try to imagine giving up everything up in your life and walk away from it all. Take a big pay cut to go and help people that you don't know. Give them a chance. And do everything you can right every day because one mistake can cost you or your buddy's life. And I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to think, have you ever ha been hit in the face so hard? That you can't think? That you don't know what to do? That time stopped? Can you hear that ringing in my ear? Can you smell that burnt flesh? I do every day. And I wouldn't change it for a bit.